Hi there everybody, welcome back to Nurturing Leadership. Welcome to those who have recently joined us the last week and a half. A lot of people, again, over a hundred people have reached out with their good feel stories of their change in their life, in their journey. Uh, people at work, good leadership examples, um, good, good teamwork examples. People have really reached out and, and shared those, which is absolutely amazing. Which means we're, we've got a platform, we, we, we can support people and we can hear great stories it's phenomenal uh, we've also heard other people's stories that are coming currently going through traumatic workplace experiences who need guided support and to realize they're not on their own so that's also been incredible and hopefully we've been we've created a safe space for those people too um we just wanted to do an update of where we're at in terms of our nurturing leadership brand a few things have changed and i'm going to create a few different videos regarding those uh, firstly we've connected with other leadership groups uh, i'm going to make a video uh, later on uh, regarding the leadership platforms we've connected with i'm going to make a video of changes that we've made to the book so please watch this space on youtube for that also um, but in terms of nurturing leadership we really wanted to before we take the book any further and we wanted to concrete our business logo, the nurturing leadership logo and what it means. Um, so Mike and I sat down and you've seen a few different things change regarding that over the, the last few weeks. Um, but we've created the nurturing leadership logo as a tree, uh, a black tree with a circle around it. And the circle represents the nurturing side of things, uh, protecting the growth, the life, and the journey that the tree has gone on. The black represents can represent the darkness that people have been through. And then the green, colorful tree behind the tree, the dark tree represents the light that can be seen and the goodness that can come from any trauma people have experienced, uh, whether it's personal, whether it's at work, whatever stresses and anxieties people go through, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And that's the colorful tree representing that there is light, there is, there is, there is positivity coming your way. Um, so that's really what that represents. Uh, and the circle can also, you could also look at it as people like to talk about leading from the front or from behind. And my perspective on that is leading from the middle because people perceive leadership as a rank and it doesn't necessarily mean your status and what pay grade you're on. Uh, we look at as leadership that if you lead from the middle, you're always leading from the side. You're always leading from in front and you're always leading from behind um, for example you can support your your manager your boss your leadership you can be inspired them to help them further as well you can support people in your team and lead your team in, in, in a positive way and you can also lead those who are perceived maybe um, who have got less experience that you're new to the job or are aspiring to train within the job as well um, and, and obviously it's a relevant scale that depends on what what industry you're in as well that's kind of like the deep meaningful behind meaning behind the logo um other changes uh, we've created um another um instagram account uh, the one for the book is the title of the book how to lead with purpose so you can follow us on instagram there we've also as you know we're going down a podcast route we've uh, the podcast is going to be called leading our own journey i've got a number of guests already confirmed that are going to appear on that later on this year i've got don johnson a drummer from a, a manchester based band where i'm from called a certain ratio his journey is absolutely incredible um and and how he's led it to be where he wants it to lead i guess um We've got the Aussie arm wrestler, Jake Ward. Um, I've known him for about 20 years. His story is absolutely inspirational. The, the title behind the podcast actually really stems from, from his journey. Um, and I've mentioned this to him a couple of times. That's really what kind of inspired me to go down that road of the title. Um, he's changed his path f for many different reasons, personal, traumatic work experiences, and he's now led I mean, the Aussie Ram wrestler, check him out and I think you'll be able to figure it out for yourselves. But we'll go deep into his journey and where he is at now, diving deep into his um, childhood, um, his 
years ago and as a young adult and his journey there. So that would be interesting. Um, we have a, another one, another guest confirmed called Paul Eldrickon, who has just started up a business called Starting Five. He is an ex-pro basketball player from the UK. He's also played pro basketball in Australia. Um, we competed each, against each other. Well, I was a coach and he was a player. That's how we met. But his journeys and his trauma, his trauma experiences uh, um, are very inspiring too. Um, and he will go deep into his journey. Um, a few more guests confirmed, but I will go into that into a little bit more detail later on. Um, any other changes? Um, yeah, you know, I think, as you can see, I'm very, uh, I like to be authentic. I don't mind to show my mistakes. I think that's, I think that needs to be done more, especially as we are working every day. I think we need to make spaces safe to be vulnerable. Um, so I must admit, I'm quite nervous in speaking in front of the camera. I don't feel good at it. Um, I am definitely learning, even just to look at where I'm looking at you now is quite, um, daunting for me having earpods in so you know i've done a lot of research of how to speak you know i'm a teacher by trade i do speak in front of people a lot and i feel good doing that uh, but this is a whole different uh, paradigm for me um, but we are nurturing leadership are looking to have a studio um, currently going to be in my office here in the house so i am saving up for a, a nice fancy laptop a computer even uh, a nice mic that I can speak clearly into and hopefully build my skills in that respect. I'm going to employ a local designer to do the signs and I will um, credit her when I speak to her, but I have an idea about really empowering local businesses, small businesses, and enhancing, enhancing them also, as I hope people will do for nurturing leadership. Um, she's not aware of it yet, but I will speak to her and I will confirm anything that's done. I'm going to be looking for two signs, one for the podcast and then one for nurturing leadership. And I'll appear just behind me in the office. Um, um, so, yeah, I'm very raw in, in, in speaking and I'm learning and even just down to looking at the camera and how to speak and, uh, and, and, and visual contact. So that's uh, an area that I'm looking to learn. Um, any other, let me just look at my notes here. Yeah, uh, you know, just the, I think, even just the, the, the templates, you know, learning, navigating on social media, how I want that to look. Um, I've learned along the way on social media to create, we started off the, with the black and white templates, for example. Um, I don't, we don't feel comfortable with that anymore. Then the page on Instagram in particular started to look messy. Um, and I've recently just started the program that I'm using. I've started to realize there are beautiful different colors and, cam uh, and canvases that I can uh, manipulate. And I, f I kind of feel like I'm finding my way into making it the nurturing leadership brand. Um, so even just the small details of getting that right uh, and feeling comfortable and making it attractive for the audience and to hook them in and to read the post, uh, we try and pick the best words and currently using snippets from the book to to connect with the audience, to connect to you guys and, and hopefully you can realise, ah, oh, that connects to my life, that reconnects to your life and um, we are on the same journey. We have been through it before. You could have been through something traumatic 10 years ago. For me, my journey was from about eight years ago. And I'm trying to, this is my 12th step of recovery, I suppose, is to put my, myself in a position to support other people and, and, and reach out to those that do need guidance and support, whether it's through the book, uh, whether it's through the podcast. Uh, Mike Nichols has got the sporting side of things called the Mike Nichols method, where we, we bring that nurturing leadership into helping coaches and players deal with who have struggled, you know, there are players on his books that I have struggled with their coaches and being bullied by middle managers uh, uh, and coaches and assistant coaches, playing with anxiety, for example, a goalkeeper uh, with thousands of people behind him and the ball's on the other side of the pitch. There's a lot of sports stars out there that are suffering with anxiety and hear the fear of judgment and people shouting at them. You know, at the end of the day, we, we look at these people as commodities being paid a lot of money, uh, get the job done. 
but really deep down they're human beings too um, and they need that guidance and support. Um, so Mike is giving them the tool set to help support and hold space for those, which is absolutely incredible. Um, it's very similar philosophies have, uh, to what we're saying in the normal workplace um, with, and how we inspire leaders to change their perspective and, and, and how they perceive themselves as leaders, exactly the same. Uh, that's just Mike's passion. Um, and that's, again, how I met Mike was through the basketball world. And that's how we've joined together. So that's kind of where nurturing leadership is up to at the moment. Um, I hope me speaking here today, um, me being vulnerable in front of the camera, me being us all being open and honest about where nurturing leadership uh, leadership is at. And hopefully, you know, when you look at this YouTube clip in a year's time and you can see the journey on the templates, on the social media, on the YouTube channels of, of, of the improvement of where we've come from, being raw to hopefully where I visualise this to go. Um, thank you for watching if you have watched and um, let's all enjoy growing together, supporting one another. And I hope that Nurturing Leadership can offer you guys um, some insights to how we can change and be inspired to go to our place of work every single day. Thanks for the joining us. Enjoy the journey. We'll speak soon.